Hello all, in this video let's see how to create content editable fields in page layout. Whenever you are creating a page and uh, applying that page for a um, like a page layout on that page, you will see some customizations automatically uh, coming, So which differs from other pages. So here we can create content editable fields uh, so that in the edit mode of that particular page whatever uh, the user inputs according to the CSS customizations uh, these styles will be applied to those fields. Before we are uh, going to create this uh, content page content fields in page layout we need to check whether our site is having uh, this future okay just go to the site settings once and go to the manage site features and we need to check whether this SharePoint server publishing is activated or not. This is the uh, prerequisite for creating custom uh, editable content fields in the page layout. We need to check this. Uh, once this SharePoint server publishing is activated, we can start uh, creating these things. A few steps like first we need to create content a content type. And then next we must create a page layout in design manager and uh, after that we need to apply those things in for a new page so let's create first a content type so for that view we need to go to site settings and uh, click site content types in web designer galleries and click create and uh, give some name like red corp and uh, here we are creating for page layout so just select page layout and page content type you can take a welcome page or project page i'm taking project page here and existing group so put this site content types into a new group or a custom content types i want to create a new group known as red corp and click ok and let's see now this content type is created with name red corp and parent is project page group uh, red corp so if you see so uh, since we uh, selected uh, this project page already which uh, fields which are in project page those all are coming now and now we we will create uh, say two or three fields uh, custom fields so let's create uh, one custom field now and from new site column so here i will create like a long heading heading okay it may be single line of text for me it's enough existing put this site column into custom columns or you can create our group uh, red corp okay mm and click ok so now we have created one custom editable column which is known as heading in this page particular uh, content type so we can create one more uh, if you want like uh, add uh, one more like one more multiple lines of text or else you can create rich media data for publishing and uh, whatever you can create so i want to create one more like uh, long heading or subheading which also i want to take uh, or i can take like uh, long text okay and for that i'm taking multiple lines of text here so i'm keeping this in new group uh, red corp or uh, we can create a new group or if not necessary custom columns we can or in we can keep in red corp whatever we already created and okay and click okay so now we have created uh, two custom fields content fields like heading and long text and we need to make use of these things in the page layout so now we will go to design manager and let's create 
a page layout okay click edit page layouts here in the design manager and click create a page layout and uh, you can give it is like uh, red corp page layout and you can take whatever master page and uh, content type must be uh, red corp whatever we created that content type okay click ok now and let's wait for some time it will create page layout for us and now we have create this page layout it is created but it is in draft mode let's make it is in uh, approved one advanced publish a major version okay then click ok and now let's create let's download this or we can see here or we can go to a we can we can create a page based on this page layout okay just click site contents and uh, you can also uh, one more thing just if you click this red core page layout you can see here uh, snippets location etc and also you can see here heading field value long text field value okay this means these are editable fields which will helpful in uh, designing your stuff you can now go to site contents and go to pages and uh, create create a project page uh, since project page is not available here we can take um, like we can add this project page from the site uh, library settings click library settings and uh, go to content types here you can see add from existing content types you can go to project uh, let's see project pages here just add this and click ok and again come back to the pages library and uh, click page click page and you can see here a project page is available and click project page and uh, while creating project page you can see so many items here so but our uh, thing is red core page layout okay this can be uh, now you create one name of the page name just you can mention like test page test page triple nine and uh, this will be name and here you select the page layout red corp page layout okay then click create now let's see how it will be now just go to this uh, test page triple nine six and you can see uh, default few uh, since we have selected a project page for some default things we are com coming okay now just click edit the page and let's see uh, some of the editable fields we got here along with uh, our uh, custom fields like we have created heading long text and some other things also coming we can if you want we can remove or else we can keep like this and now in the heading like uh, I can give like uh, topmost countries long text also some text like uh, countries description of all topmost countries okay now let's see once uh, we if we uh, save the page these two fields heading topmost countries and long text countries must appear in the page before that those are empty now click save and see now whatever 
we have given this uh, our fields are appearing now this is the procedure um, how to create uh, this uh, site um, con uh, this content editable fields in the page layout you can also like if you want you can also make them like uh, uh, if you want just click edit and uh, you, you can remove this unwanted fields also uh, like uh, page content web page uh, task status all these are not necessary for us so we can also remove this by uh, going to the site design manager like uh, design manager which is available here uh, in the site settings site what is this site contents go to site contents design manager yeah, here design manager is here design manager if you can go edit page layouts and download that particular uh, layout and click download and uh, you just you will see uh, what are the items available here just click here and uh, open with it with it any HTML editor or you can open with it with uh, Visual Studio Code Visual Studio Code for me let's see if Visual Studio Code is installed or not yeah it's already there so just click it and uh, you will drag and drop this file okay now let's drag this file here see you can see red corp all this we will remove and we will keep only one here close so now if you see so many items are coming but you must uh, all our content fields will be in one uh, tag which is known as placeholder main here you can see all our fields like page field page field page content title snippet rating number of ratings web page snippet task status snippet heading snippet heading snippet is the one we created long test is the one we created now so let's remove here uh, if you see I want to remove uh, this web page type the web butters this one and I want to remove this ratings one okay also the task status but I want to move the heading on the top long text on the top and after that page content must come for me okay now let's uh, remove the unwanted like ratings we will remove and here web, web page snippet is also not necessary for us task status is also not necessary for us uh, I want to bring this on uh, the top these two to the top okay just cut and move this to the top of the page content right field rating is also not necessary for me and uh, title snippet must be there and on the top of this page content i want this both like heading snippet and long heading snippet and once it is, this is done just save this and you must go to the uh, site site settings and in the site settings if you see master pages and page layouts just go there and uh, upload this new page layout red corp page layout which is updated one click ok and publish it and publish it save and publish it red corp page yeah and uh, whenever you create a page layout you will see two pages two uh, files will be created in the master page and layouts folder what is the error like html and aspx you need to do customizations in the only html file okay so whatever changes we rendered this will be in the html page this 
will be like they 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 will show up with once we publish as a major version in the major version you can write like um, uh, comments removed unwanted fields and uh, ordered the custom content fields this is for our references only just click okay and once it is uh, published or uh, you can see here it's unpublish unpub is there and if you want unpublish you can unpublish it but we need publish only what we already published that's why it's showing this option and now you go to the page where we have applied this red cork page then click save and let's see once mm, so here if you see these uh, stars are done and click edit page and you can see now our heading is coming on the top long text page content now just add some content here top 50 countries something and some long text you can also make it like all countries in the world and the page content you can write whatever you can write like something you will write okay like this and just save and these things must appear on the page see all the top countries and all the countries in the world if you want to do some customizations or stylings you can find out the uh, just by inspect you find out this uh, div uh, and based on that you can do some stylings or else uh, you can we can keep those uh, uh, divs in one more div and uh, make give the div some id and you can uh, apply the styles okay so this is the basic uh, procedure how to create a content editable fields uh, which will be uh, very much useful for our clients if they want to have different kind of page layouts based on their subjects okay thanks for watching